Hi everyone, welcome back. So in identity and access management, we have already covered uh, how can we create user, group, permissions, policies, etc, etc, right? There is one more topic which is IAM role. Uh, we'll see what is IAM role. Uh, this is another identity uh, thing. Uh, just consider it is kind of similar to IAM user. Uh, but the, uh, the difference is now consider uh, IAM user is nothing but a person or people who are having access to the to the AWS console or services right but there might be cases where we want to access few of the resources maybe from the application or maybe one service is trying to utilize another service or maybe uh, I have an AWS account and I have another AWS account and maybe uh, this user in one AWS account is trying to access resources in another AWS account account which is kind of a uh, for short term period right so there we can use role and again in for i am role also the permissions will be associated with the role and um, the services or uh, the application who are going to use the role they need to assume the role uh, and then uh, they will use the role i mean whatever access that role is having uh, we'll see how can we how we'll create the policies attach the policies to the role the concept is same um, okay so let's do the hands-on so I'll go to the console and again I will search for IAM Basically, this is for short term uh, period uh, to be true because there is no uh, security credentials, etc. associated with the role. It's just uh, for that during that session only. I mean, for example, if a service is assuming that role and until unless that session is there uh, till that only that uh, service will have access to it. And then as soon as the session is over uh, that uh, uh, that role, uh, that permission is also uh, being uh, will be revoked okay okay so uh, I just clicked on roles so these are the two default roles uh, I could see because I have not created them yeah let's create a new role I clicked on create role and I can see there are five types so one is AWS service allow AWS services like EC2 lambda or others to perform actions in the account so likewise I said now these are AWS services, but they these you these say these services wants to perform some action. So of course they need access, right? These services need action access. Then only they can perform some other action. So for example, from my EC2 instance, and I will cover what is EC2 instance. Just consider it's a VM, with the virtual machine, right? From my virtual machine, I want to access users' data. Now users' data is inside identity and access management, right? I mean I need to read it. So I need that access so that I can read the data from my VM. So this EC2 instance, which is VM, need that access. So how we will achieve it? Using roles. Okay. The second tab is AWS account. Allow entities in other AWS account belonging to you or a third party to perform action in this account. Makes sense, right? I have I uh, there is another AWS account and I want to create some access. So what I will do? So for example, another person who needs access is having another AWS account. I will create a role uh, for my account and then I will pass that information to the other person who is having who wants to access my account. So this is how I can create it. And then we have other option also web identity allow users federated by the specific external web identity provider. We will talk about it and then sample to dot o federation and custom trust policy okay there are uh, multiple um, entity types and uh, use case use cases are also given that uh, for which service uh, we want to create this role because i have selected this aws service right so we need to select for which service we want to create this role so for example if i select ec2 the example i have given from my vm i want to do some action i want to read it or something right and then use cases are also given uh, scheduled instance port instance yeah it's okay i'll just select the default one click on next and then the ac access the permission actual permission so with this role what i should be able to achieve it so for example i want to uh, 
आई शुड बी एबल टू डू एवरीथिंग सो आई जस्ट प्रोवाइड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एक्सेस ओके और मे बी आई वॉन्ट टू यू नो पुट समथिंग इन एस थ्री बकेट राइट आई वॉन्ट टू मे बी फाइल सर्च विद एस थ्री सो इट्स इज एमेजोन एस थ्री फुल एक्सेस सो आई विल बी एबल टू परफॉर्म ऑल एस थ्री रिलेटेड ऑपरेशन वील टॉक अबाउट इट वॉट इज एस थ्री बट इट इज नथिंग बट वी कैन स्टोर ऑब्जेक्ट्स यूजिंग एमेजोन एस थ्री सर्विस ओके तो मे बी आई विल सेलेक्ट वॉट वी कैन डू वी कैन वी कैन जस्ट रीड द डेटा या एंड विद दिस परमिशन फ्रॉम आई सी टू इंस्टेंस आई कैन रीड एस थ्री बाकेट क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट एंड देन आई नीड टू प्रोवाइड रोल नेम सो आई एल से माई ए सी टू रीड एस थ्री रोल ओके तो येस एंड दिस इज द ट्रस्ट पॉलिसी Likewise, we have already gone through what is policy, but here let's go through. So, what it says: effect is allow, and uh, on what is the action? Assume role, right? So this EC two, EC two instance needs to assume this role, okay? And uh, the the service is the EC two, okay? Uh, what is next? Then we can. Oh, uh, this is the policy which we have added, and we can add tags. That's fine. Let's create this role. So the role is created. Now we we can see it's still loading. Yeah. So now for this role, which is for applicable for EC two uh, service. a policy is added that is uh, read s3 bucket okay and uh, this is the trusted entity i mean that uh, json object which uh, we have already seen so that's it in this video and i will create a hands on uh, activity how can we use this role thank you so much for watching